Yo, what up? This is Nicholas Starr with Tag TV. I'm here with my man John Worcester. I want to show you guys around his studio. He invited us in. Check out some of his artwork and his style. <laughs> In here, I feel like it's throwback city. You have records for days, still so hard, and your feet so like, like, Tell me how you get your swag on so hard, dude. I just grew up around the hip hop and the funk. That's the way my parents raised me. I grew up with some of the Fat Boys, Egyptian Lover, Twilight 22. Loved it growing up as a kid. People made fun of me for it, you know? But you just that's what I was into, and I wanted to be an individual, so I just kept going with it. This is where I ended up with a bunch of vinyl and a bunch of street art. It's <laughs> sick, dude, I think. Which means that you cut, like, tell me how you, how you go through and paint a piece like this. Um, well, first I find the picture I want. I edit it with software. I go and take it and get it printed, bring it back. This is a two layer. I had two copies of this. One of them I just cut out the background, which is the white. The other is the black, which is just the contrast, the silhouette. Lay down the white, spray it, lay down the black, spray it, shell it with a white paint marker over top of an abstract painting, and that's your finished product. I really, was speaking out this little Jam Master J right here. You're like, this painting here um, is small, but it's complex. Like, how do you go about doing a painting like this? Well, something like this. I just found the picture that I liked online. I saved it, opened it in some editing software, did what I had to do, got it printed. Cut it very, very carefully. Cut it like, uh, cut. so what you cut away is you have the image and you use an X-Acto knife to cut out where you want the paint to be filled, right? So you that's make right, this, that's you right. create a stencil off the image. Right? right, and when I printed this, I mean, all this black was connected. So if I were to cut it all how it was there, it would have fell straight out. Yeah, so part of the that's trick of simple. stencil making is creating the negative space in all the necessary areas without your stencil, just, without like just cutting right through the half of a piece of paper, right? Exactly. It's a trick, dude. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Everyone is unique in its own way. I keep my stencils after I make a painting, even if it's custom, so if somebody else wants it down the road, they can have it also, but it's not going to be the same as the original one. Everyone's going to have a splatter or a drip or different colors that makes it individual from everything else. And I mean, you, you don't just do work on canvas, you, I mean, you do shoes, uh, records, you have some of these records, show the people the records. Yeah, this the shining table. there, portable turntable, even Marilyn Monroe. Let's see, dude. So, how long, and like, uh, how long did you say you've been uh, I've been doing stencils about a year. Stencils for about a year, I mean, you had a lot, that's a lot of cutting, man. That's a lot of exacto time. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, this is just a vinyl record that you've done your process too, right? Lay down your abstract background. Uh, and then once you decide your color scheme and then you do this and then the, yeah, then your white shell, right? Right. And I'm digging on this. Check this out. John has all his own uh, tags with, you know, he grommets each one. These look like they're individually painted. Yeah, I remember that, dude. Lemon Drop's super cool. For the people who don't know, Lemon Drop's a nonprofit organization here in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, you can find them at uh, lemondrop.org, right? And they work with artists and giving them the platform to network with other artists and 
share their artwork. And obviously it's a tool that works, right? Because you said that was your first show. Yeah. And now you're paying live in different venues. You're selling artwork. You have artwork hanging at uh, Gailey's downtown. And you have your work for sale on art online. And you're doing it, right? right? That's sick, man. Like That's what it's all about. For somebody to be able to do what they love. I mean, it looks like you're doing it, man. Yeah. I mean, it started out as a hobby. I did that show. After that show, more people started contacting me, showing interest. Found out that I could do custom stencils. I mean, I could do anything. I've done pictures of people's faces, just whatever. I, I appreciate you inviting us in here. For all the people, uh, like I said, we can find you on facebook.com forward slash John Worcester Art. Right. And uh, that's spelled W R W O R C E S T E R. All right. John Worcester Art. Stay tuned to tagsgf.com and to see more from Art Focus, interacting with more people like John.